Hi, beautiful family, and welcome to another of my videos. Well, it's late today. It's actually 30 minutes past eight, and I just did this makeup because I wanted to review this palette. My friend Valerie asked me about the, about what I think about this palette, my thoughts about it, and I thought that I would do that today. I have already pre-filmed a couple of videos that's coming on my channel. I've been filming a lot but not having time to edit everything and I do everything myself. Sorry for the mess there in behind. I'm preparing for Christmas gifts for my co-workers and friends and family, so everything is a mess about, uh, behind me. But we are here today. I have three makeup looks, uh, three makeup looks with uh, this palette. The one that I have on today or right now it's coming uh, I think it's going to be the last in this video but I have two others that I've been wearing at work now this is the newest Nat Natasha Denona retro glam palette and I have the retro palette really like it I don't have the glam palette though that one is more neutral but this is how the shades look now I've been using almost every shade here uh, I think I've used every shade in here and I really think it's a palette for every day but also for a night. You can create many makeup looks with this. So I'm going to swatch these and uh, talk about them. I'm going to swatch these first shades up here. The one that I have on my list today is Flare. This is the red one. They are very soft pressed. I don't know if you can see. So let's say they are very soft pressed. So be careful when you go in with the finger or with the blush. I don't know if you can see that the pan of the pal pan of the eyeshadow is moving. So many of these are doing that. It's because you can, of course, take them out and put them in another pal uh, another palette. But we have Flair, and then we have Jay Z. That's more of this like dark brown gray color. Um, metallic. I really like like this color. I have it on my eyes today too. Also, the third shade here. That's sorry. That's called Oscar, over here. And then they are very smooth. Um, but this one is more chunkier than the others. Then we have uh, Evergreen. It's a beautiful, beautiful. I know. I know. I don't call it like mad, but more like a satin shade and then we have Mar marlin this here that's like a green metallic color so let's watch these are we this first shade Well, this is a really bad swatch, but this is the shades, the first road. Beautiful. They are easy to use. They are easy to use and also easy to blend. There is a lot of fallout when you use uh, these with the brush. I did got a lot of fallout today. Uh, I, of course, did my makeup before I uh, went in with the eyeshadow. It's because it's late and I'm going to remove this, so that's why. But usually, or... Usually I like to do my eyes first and I also recommend when you use this palette to do your eyes first. It's not a like a big deal, but if you don't like a fallout at all, it's going to be here. So, okay, let's go to the second row. Now we have Maxi. That's also one of my favorite che colors. I do have it on my eyes today. Then we have Sage. That's this green, uh, bluish kind of color. It's powder I don't know if you can see in the pan but these are beautiful shades that are also easy to build up this is very soft press palette and then we have oh Haley and then we have fringe and also Faye I think it's called it's Faye is one of my favorite colors in this palette they're very buttery um very buttery Use use friendly, but beware of the fallout. These are really really nice, really nice. 
and you can build, a, build them up if you want to have uh, if you want them to be a little bit more deep I think this palette is really for everyone the one that is scared for the colors but really want to have more colors on their eyelids but also people that like love neutrals or love colorful palettes maybe not for those that really like bright colors but it's a nice really nice palette then we have Flu flutter flutter this one is very chunky uh, it's more like a for me it's more like a chunkier glitter shade or shimmer glitter shade it's not bad i really like it but there is a lot of fault fallout with that then we have lucy that's a really beautiful kind of a nudish cool transition shade we have also palladian palladian that it's a beautiful beautiful like silvery bluish kind of color then we have bell also beautiful shade that i have it in my crease i actually used this one in my crease and then i went with this one to dip it up a little bit and the last shade is oz i think the oz is maybe one of my favorite also one of the favorite uh, colors in this palette that i really really like so there you go this one is almost like my skin tone you can't even see it on me swatching it so I don't know if you can see here on my hand but these are really a little bit chunkier uh, really easy to blend I really enjoy the Natasha Denona palettes so they're not hard hard to use uh, very blendable very easy to use but it is going to be more like a buttery soft pressed eyeshadows uh, but they it, they blend beautifully i mean it's so satisfying to use the natasha donana palette and it i'm not disappointed i really enjoy this palette i've been using it now a couple of days and i filmed two makeup uh, three makeup looks with this palette definitely going to continue to use it uh, more because i really enjoy this palette i like natasha denona eyeshadows i do enjoy these these palettes for the price and also for the packaging and also um i don't know for it's more affordable and i think i'm not going to use up a palette i have like tons of palettes i have so many palettes that i bought that i didn't film with i have also um this palette that i haven't filmed with this is the huda beauty palette i'm not going to talk about it now i also i did film a video with this palette but i didn't edit it yet so that's coming up on my channel this is also a newer palette from natasha denona so i also have this from um, gloss gods i have like five palettes from gloss gods and one more coming here that i haven't reviewed on my channel i mean i have new, the pat mcgrath new palette the anastasia's palette so there are a lot of palettes that i'm going to talk about on my channel but i have to say that this one the new from natasha the normal is something special it's not something that i have um in my collection now i do have the what's called the um, color pop not color uh, let me show you oh yes this one this is the star wars so i when i see saw, saw this palette i immediately went to uh, in my thoughts to this one because the the green one here and this one kind of remind or these shades here kind of remind me reminded me about this palette um i don't know they are not so much similar uh, similar but still it still reminds me a little bit maybe this green bluish color that reminded me it's not similar at all but i don't know my thoughts went here um really enjoy this palette really enjoy this palette I, I really like this color i didn't thought that i would like this color as much as i do usually i don't wear these colors a lot um because for me they're not really it's not anything special i have those these kind of colors in my other palettes but i don't know i just enjoy this i thought first that these two were really similar i would like to, uh, this is the jazzy and maxi uh, when I opened the palette, I was like, it's almost the same colors. Jay-Z and the other one. They looked really similar too. 
and I don't know I think on the eyes they kind of on the eyes they turn to be almost identical I don't know if you will if you how to say I don't know if you will be able to see any difference if I have the Jay-Z or if I have Maxi on my eyes I mean very 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 similar colors not identical, but very similar. I don't know if we need both of them. Uh, maybe the one is more warm and this, the other one is more like cool tone shade, but still very similar. Then the other two shades that are very similar, or I think are very similar, it's Evergreen and Oz. It looks like that in the pan when I look at it. Not when I look at it now in my monitor when I'm filming, but when I look at it like this, I do want to swatch these two. This is the Evergreen and even Oz, just to see Evergreen and Oz. No, where did I swatch it? Yes, I did. Well, these are not similar. They kind of look a little bit, not maybe now in the camera, but when I look at it like this, they look similar but these two for me they are really indent almost identical i need to swatch them again i just am i crazy or what jay-z and maxi they are the shades i mean they, they look really similar not identical but very similar i don't know if i will be able to see any difference on my eyes though but I do recommend this palette. I think it's a really nice palette. I think there is something for everybody and you can wear it like everyday makeup or night out or for the holidays. I don't know. I mean, there is something for everyone. So I really, really like this palette. I uh, am glad that I have it because I, I do have tons, tons of palettes, but I don't have anything quite like this and even the other palettes that kind of remind me of this one are not exactly the identical so uh first i thought there were so many bright colors but actually they work on the eyes and they can go a little bit deeper uh like let me show you this color this is the bell if i swatch it like this and now it's blending really nice but i can even dip it up a little bit you see, I can make it deeper if I want to, if I continue laying it. Um, so you can go with a light hand, you can go dip it up if you want to. So, I mean, there is a lot of colors to use to make a lot of ma beautiful makeup looks. So for me, this palette ge gets a really a big thumbs up. Now, I'm sorry if you hear my kids screaming, they're playing games online with their friends. And I tried to film this video a couple of times and I was going over there to tell them to calm down a little bit, but it's a little bit hard when you have a teenage son that loves playing games with his friends online. Um, I think even neighbors can hear them, but sorry for that. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down below if you try this palette, what do you think about it? Would you purchase it or not? Let me know down below what you think, what your thoughts, what do you think about these makeup looks. Now go watch the... Um, the, the makeup looks, I will try to put the stamp down below with uh, the time if you want to skip one of the makeup looks on, or go back and watch one of those. Uh, so I will put the timestamps down below. To let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, I love you all and keep on watching for the makeup looks.
the feeling behind my eyes you stood out cause you were in red men against my intentions i let you turn me violent instead summer high met you in august new york back to my cold apartment distance sucks but at least i'm still with you Every time I try to breathe 